Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas, and today we're going to be talking about all things iLock. So over the last year or so that I've been using the Oxygen Pro series and Pro Tools, we've talked a lot about iLock, and I've gotten some questions on how do I get iLock and get it set up? Why do I need iLock? And so I want to cover a couple of those questions in today's video. In this video, we're going to talk about what iLock is, how to create an iLock account, and then how to install the iLock license manager on your computer. So jumping right in, iLock is used to manage the licenses on a lot of different plugins, virtual instruments, and DAWs. Pro Tools uses iLock for the authorization of their software and their plugin packages. The Oxygen Pro series has a few Air plugins that use iLock to authorize the licenses. So iLock is basically a digital license manager. Now some software will give you like a little USB dongle that you plug in and that has the license on it. This kind of takes the place of that and allows you to kind of do it through the cloud, through the internet and everything like that. So jumping over to the computer here, the first thing we're going to want to do is create an iLock account. To do that, go to your browser and then either type iLock.com or in the search engine type iLock. And the first link here, www.ilock.com, is the iLock website. The first thing you're going to want to do if you don't have an account is click on this create free account button. You're going to enter a user ID, name, email, password, all of that stuff, security information, and then you're going to create your account. So once you've created your account, go to your email and they email a registration link to you. Go ahead and click on that to activate your account. Once you click that link, it's going to ask you to sign in. Once you do that, your account will be activated. We can click on this sign in and sign into our account as well. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to the iLock license manager link at the top and we're going to download in our case, Windows 64 bit, download the one that's appropriate for your computer. Click on that link and save file. That's going to download it to your computer. And then we're going to go ahead and install that license manager on our computer. Go up here and we're just going to go to the folder that this is at and then we're going to right click on this zip file here and if you don't have 7-zip or another zip program, you're going to have an extract all function in your menu here. Click on that or in my case I have 7-zip so I'm going to extract to the folder here and that's going to extract this zip file so I can then have that as a directory. So open up that directory, keep opening that up until you get to this directory with the license support win64.exe. Double click on that. Once it's unpacked the files, it's going to open up with this install shield wizard. Click on next and you can review the agreement here if you want and then click on yes to accept the terms and then click on the install button. This is actually going to do the installation process of the license manager. And once that's complete, click on the finish button and that's going to exit the wizard. Once that's installed, you'll find the iLock license manager in your start menu or as an icon on your desktop. In my case, I have my icons hidden, so it's down in my start menu. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to take a minute to open up the first time, but once it does, under this local section, you'll have your computer and you can see I have zero activations here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the sign in button and go ahead and enter the user ID and the password that you set when you created your iLock account. I'm going to click on the remember user ID and password and click sign in. Now you'll see that my username up top, I have zero licenses and then up top here we have the all licenses and some tabs that we can cycle through at the top. I have no licenses yet on this computer so I have nothing in here but once you start to activate your plugins, virtual instruments and stuff like that that use iLock to manage the licenses, you'll find the details for those licenses in this section here. And so that's the basics of creating your iLock account, downloading and installing the license manager and getting that logged in for the first time. And as you can see, I have zero licenses here. I'm going to be doing a video talking about the Oxygen Pro instruments, the Hybrid 3, Velvet and the Mini Grand. Those all use iLock as their activation and their license manager. So we're going to be talking about that process of installing, downloading and registering those with the iLock license manager and getting up and running with those. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those. If you have any questions throughout this process of getting set up with iLock, feel free to throw those in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay inspired and keep making that music.